Hello and welcome back to another episode of What's Jamie Up To and this retro gaming series. Here I have something I've been waiting for for quite a while actually. I've been waiting for this item to come up on eBay at a decent price. Um, delivered today from My Hermes. I have taken off all the labels. Um, bit of damage to the box here, so hopefully that doesn't affect what's inside. Um, you probably know from the title what is inside. This was an eBay purchase. Oh God, let's open this. So let's get into it. Trusty Swiss Army knife. Let's get into it. This was, like I say, eBay purchase. Um, I was watching the item. The seller sent me a an offer. Um, and I countered with a lower offer because the seller doesn't actually know if this item works or not. So if it doesn't work, I shall repair it or try to repair it. Okay, it's wrapped very well. Yes, recycled moon pig box. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yes. And a bit of bubble wrap. So, oh, and packing peanuts as well. Not too fussed on them because you can't recycle them. Polystyrene is a bad thing. Right, let's just get rid of that. So, we have in here. Atomic Pinball from Tomy. Now Tomy made a lot of mechanical games back in the 80s. I'm not sure if they're still going now. There were a couple of pinballs from the 80s I'm after. Um, there is a bigger one, a more expensive one, which is possibly the best version of pinball from back in the day. However, that's probably for a future video. So let's have a look at the box and let's get into it. Fast and Furious arcade game, Atomic Pinball, arcade action from Tomy. Lights flash, bells ring, balls fly with real arcade pinball action. Requires five D-type batteries. That's why the seller does not know if it works or not because they didn't have any batteries to try it. So, luckily, I had one already, because it's always five. Why is it five, not six or four? Because they, they all come in packs. So I had to buy these from my local shop. These were three pounds a pack. So that's cost me quite a bit, actually. Right. Oh, look. This here, 401. 2025 that is an old argos code argos is a like a department store is it a department store yeah like a catalog store here in the uk so let's get into it the box is in not bad condition actually made in singapore does it have a year on it ah another argos code which is different to the other one so here it is very 80s okay let's get it out the box has the ball in there and it has most importantly the two feet which you put in the bottom of the actual pinball machine let's get rid of this for a minute excuse the noise of the oven my dinner is cooking um yeah you pop these in here just like so. One, two. So the two feet, that props it up. Um, the ball, let's get it in shot. The ball is there. And there is actually a piece underneath, if you didn't know, this little piece here. If you pull that there, 
you can actually you can actually store the ball in there so push that piece up there you go you can see it and um, that stops the ball rattling about while it's in transit so let's lift that that will drop it and that can move the ball again so yeah there's that here is the dial that tells you how many balls you've got um, to play your game, ball in play. You've got the flippers. There's only two flippers on this one. Uh, and you have the bumpers here. Um, you have a counter at the top, which you can zero with the button on the top there. And obviously the on off switch and you have a, a light here that flashes. So let's get some batteries in it and let's see if it actually works. So here is the battery compartment. So you have one in the bottom there. Let's get that single battery in there. God, these are big batteries. Have I got it the right way? I'm um, not sure actually. Well, we'll try it. So there's one in there. Two in there. Now, this is a very loud machine, actually. I've watched some videos on YouTube. Um, I never actually owned this as a kid. So, recycle these cardboard. Okay. Yeah, never owned this as a kid, and it is quite loud, actually. Okay, just heard something. Hopefully that's good. If it doesn't work, then we'll get into repairing it. Okay. Let's just zoom it in a bit. Here we go. Let's switch it on. Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay. As you can hear, it's quite noisy. So let's see if the bumpers work. We will flick this up. No, the bumpers aren't working. They are stuck. Oh, one of them's working. Oh, maybe it is working. Oh, yeah. Maybe it just needs waking up. Two. Oh, I'm rubbish at this. Rubbish. Oh. Okay, one of the bumpers isn't working, that one there. And one of the paddles isn't working. Okay, so let's turn it off. So these side paddles aren't working and the bumpers, one of the bumpers aren't working. So I'll pause the video there. I will have my dinner and then we'll tear it down and we'll have a look and see why it's not working. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've had a bit of a tinker with it. I've taken it apart. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that show you how to take these apart and repair them. There's three screws here uh, with nuts the other side. You just have to get a flathead screwdriver in the other side to stop the nuts turning and then undo these screws. Basically, there was a black screw here um, that wasn't screwed down right. So the magnetism with the board wasn't working correctly because this colourful piece here, um, I'm not sure what they call this in the pinball world, um, because this is made of metal or steel. So let's give it a go. Let's turn it on. Very noisy, my wife hates this game when we play it. So, so you can see that the bumpers are working. If I can hit them, here we go. I'm terrible at this game, absolutely terrible. Right, here we go, here we go. It is getting stuck by this bumper here as well. There we go, it's working fine. Okay, and you can see the counters working. Oh, rubbish. Right, so that's a quick bit of gameplay for Atomic Pinball. Oh, I've just noticed on the box that it actually says, in a different language, Atomic Flipper. However, on the top, it does say Atomic Pinball. Um, that's the only piece. Oh, there is another one on the side that says Atomic Flipper under the Argos code there. So, that's another 80s game. We have 
adding to the collection. Not sure on the year of this. Um, I think it may be 1979. Is there a copyright thing on the box? Or is the one on the actual piece itself? Um, sometimes there is. No, made in Singapore. No, can't see anything obvious. If I can find out any info, I will put it in the description below. Um, but thank you very much for watching this episode. And the next time you find yourself on YouTube, why don't you just have a quick look and see what's Jamie up to? And subscribe, please subscribe. I've had so many views, but most of you aren't subscribed. Until the next time.